Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my absolute favorite time of the month. It is Wolf and Time unboxing time. That's right guys, I have another unboxing and not just a regular unboxing, but we have another double unboxing for you guys today. I have both the Wolf and Time box and the Luna Lux box for the month of November. So I'm super excited to hop into these boxes for the month. But first, as always, I like to talk a little bit about the boxes just so you guys have an idea if this is something you'd be interested in. I do have a playlist on my channel where I unbox a bunch of other boxes in the past. If you'd like to see some other examples of boxes that have come with this particular subscription box, definitely go check that out. I'll link it down below or in the eye or whatever. I'll link it somewhere just so you can check that out. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to go into a little bit about the company and what sizes and like options there are. I'm going to start with the smaller box, which is the Wolf and Time box. It is five items per month and it's $28. If you are into spirituality, if you are interested in witchcraft or a pagan based religion, or if you're just somebody that likes to get in touch with nature or the moon phases, if you're into astrology, anything like that, you will find something that you like in these boxes because they all are kind of based off of that kind of core topic. And then around it, there are different themes for every single month. So everything in the box is picked um, from that category of things, but also in line with the theme for the month. The larger size box, so the one underneath here, I'll do the smaller one first, like I said, and the larger one next, that is the Luna Lux box, and that is 10 items per month, and it's $68. Again, it's going to be a very similar category of items picked for the larger box. It's going to be about self-care, going to be about um, your practice, going to be about just connecting with nature and your higher self. Um, those are the type of items that are going to be in these boxes. There is usually often a ritual that is included in it. So if you are just getting into witchcraft or just kind of stepping into your practice, it helps get a really good starting point. Or if you're just kind of falling behind like myself, if you're someone like me who kind of like falls off the wagon, sorry, my dog just punched the camera stand a little bit, but if you're somebody like me who falls out of your practice a little bit, it's really nice to kind of get yourself back up and running again and give yourself really a dedicated time per month to just dedicate to yourself and your practice. So those are some of the items that are included in this box. Like I said, I'm going to start with the Wolf and Time box first. I am not gonna waste any more time because I'm sure you guys want to know what's in here just as much as I do. Like I said, I say it almost every single video I do an unboxing, but I do not look at what is in these boxes before I open them. It is a surprise when I get on camera and I do it with you guys, which I think is even more fun because you get to see my authentic reactions to things. So yeah, I haven't seen anything that's in this box. I don't remember what the theme was, even though they say it at the end of every other month, what the next month is gonna be. I have no idea. Don't even know what I'm stepping into, but I'm excited and I'm just gonna hop right into it. On the top here, I don't think you'll be able to see, but it is a little like knit heart. It's a little yarn ball heart. <laughs> and it has the little steak things. Guys, can you tell I don't knit? I don't do any of that. But it is a little yarn heart with the little chopsticks that go in it. Anyways, on top, this should be, yep, this is the information that it is included with every box essentially just goes into detail about every item that's included but we're just gonna set this guy aside because we'll get into that later right on the top we have a spell this is the nurturing soul knot spell you need faux fur yarn a tea light red clover flowers palo santo incense and a match slash incense holder and it goes into detail about the spell. I always like to kind of read the spell just because I, I just like enjoy doing that. I ask the divine for energy and love. I fill up my heart with light from above. With the moon shining down, always holding me, I nurture my soul with comfort and harmony. That's so pretty. I love that. Here is everything for the spell in case you wanted to do this yourself and jot it down. I never do the spells on camera. I know some people who do unboxings will also do um, the spell on camera just so you can see what it looks like. Um, I like to actually take my time and do them. Um, I really enjoy the spells and the different types of rituals we get. So that's why I don't do them on camera, in case you're wondering. Next, oh my gosh, a little bunny. Oh, it's so cute. It says rabbit and there is an adorable bunny. And it's kind of that like mixed media that she has been doing lately, which I love so much. It's like a combination of her watercolor and almost like a collage. 
and it's really beautiful. It comes out so interesting. Like I love the direction her art is going in and that she's experimenting with things. It's just so amazing to see. I mean, I love anything she comes out with because it's always just so beautiful. But to see it in like a different way is really interesting as well to kind of see how she's progressing and kind of like trying out different things. So really think this is absolutely beautiful. This original artwork was created using watercolor, mixed media, and a ritual to bring in the cozy vibration of its gentle softness. You can see the creation process and the magic of its intention with special music on the YouTube channel The Luna Loft. There you can read more about it by creating a meditative time for yourself. It features the song Divine Light performed by her daughter Brianna and herself with Brianna Lee and Josh Barrett of Sundin. Ooh, I see the faux fur already. I think, yes, this should be everything then for the spell, I'm assuming, because I see the faux fur that is knotted around. This is like a knotting spell. You have to tie knots. So perfect that it is knotted around everything. Ooh, it smells good, whatever's in here. Is that this? Mmm, that smells nice. It smells like fresh, like very clean. Almost like a very like clean soap. Ooh, that smells so nice. I love it. It smells like a really nice soap. It just smells really, really good. Oh my gosh, I wanna take a bath in this. I don't want, <laughs> can I just dump this in my bath? It smells so good. Red clover flowers. I don't know if that's what that amazing smell is, but if so, I love the scent of red clover flowers. So nice. Um, what's in here? These are the incense, watch, it's the incense. It's not even that. I don't know now. Because these smell like really good as well, but it smelled super strong in the bag as well. So I can't tell if this is what smells so good or if it's the flowers, but something smells amazing. You will find a long paper bag full of Palo Santo incense for cleansing joy, positive energy, and healing a long faux fur length of yarn for comfort and to use for your knots, a bag full of red clover flower for protection and removal of negative energy, and a tea light. The enclosed scroll is an original spell from Wolf in Time and was created to give you nurturing, loving energy to connect you to the moon's comfort from the divine and to create a soft, protective barrier around you. Use the elements as instructed or create your own purposes for them for your path. The next thing that I have in here, ooh, I hear, something in here. It is a little container and it's tied together with a piece of string. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is this a wolf necklace? That's so pretty. I want to show you guys the way that it is packaged too because it's so cute. It's like this little wolf oops, and it's wrapped around and it's secured with this little safety pin on this piece of cloth. And it's so pretty. It's like a wolf with mountains in the background and cactuses. And I'm actually wearing um, one of my Wolf in Time necklaces right now. Oops, I totally put it on backwards. Oh no, I didn't. There we go. I thought I put it on backwards for a second. I'm wearing one of my Wolf in Time necklaces. This was one of the boxes, I think over the summer and it's like double layered, so it's super pretty. In the little brown craft box, all tied up with this string, you will find one of eight different types of forest animals on a stainless steel necklace in either silver or gold. There is a fox head, a running wolf, a wolf head with a compass, a wolf head with a moon, a rabbit, an eagle, a crow, and a bear. Nature's animals have special energy to bring us that connection to the elements, calm our stress, and bring us back to what is important in life. They are gently attracted to a piece of fabric that you can use for a quilt, in a collage, for a spell or ritual, or you can write what you want to manifest on it and place it in a mojo bed with herbs and crystals. I think I should layer it, shouldn't I? Let's see what this looks like layered. That looks so cute. I like having all three. So that was the next item. Moving on. Ooh, are these socks or something? I have these here, little leg warmers, arm warmers. Let's see, some type of warmers because it looks super comfortable. I'm gonna have to look on the sheet for this because there are these little warmers, maybe a hand because there's a little hole here so a thumb but then there's also this string here it's like a dark green string with a sewing needle thing I don't know how much faith Kat has in me and being able to do creative things but 
I've never sewed or anything before, but that's actually really cute because if we go back to the top, it was the little like sewing yarn. So it's kind of everything's tying together. Let me grab the paper. Hmm. Oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> All right, let me check what that is. I'm gonna read this obviously when I do my close-ups of everything, but the concept behind this is really, really sweet. To warm your magical hands, but still leave your fingers free for crafting, concocting, working, creating, we have given you these snuggly gray ribbed knitted hand warmers. They are in a simple style, but we have also included a blunt tip yam needle and two colors of soft yam for you to add your own embellishments. Stitch in a rune, a sigil, a moon, a star, or whatever you like and infuse it with your energy and intention. If you need guidance, go to the YouTube channel The Luna Loft where there will be a quick DIY video of how to make a quick stitching design with your elements. And I think this is the final item. I think I counted five. And this is the stone. There's always a crystal, which is super nice. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's very like, rocky like it looks like a rock let me show you guys instead of just holding it it's this little light pink color oops it's not getting a good focus for you guys but it is just a light pink stone i'm curious to see what this is because it does just look like a rock um which is really cool i don't know i'm stumped let me see it's a raw pink opal. Oh my God, it is a Peruvian pink opal that's so pretty. At my job, um, there was a couple Peruvian pink opal rings and they're so beautiful. I like that it's raw. It's really cool to see stones in their raw form. Um, so, oh my gosh, I love that. That is so pretty. I have a little pink opal. And again, something I say all the time about this box is that I always get things that I don't already have. And I love that. I've never gotten a pink opal in a subscription box or even just in general in my collection i don't have pink opal so now i do your premium quality raw opal is from peru comes unpolished and in its natural form and shows its soft opaque creamy colors of light to very dark pink it supports emotional healing and can help you let go of past trauma and heartache conscientiously and subconsciously it is very helpful in soothing any pain from past life experiences and is amazing to sleep with under your pillow to bring both compassion and gentle release in your dreams it also gives your aura a soft glow of tranquility while opening up the path to divine light and celestial realms. It fully opens the heart chakra, but grounds you through its earth element while cradling your soul with its connection to the water of the womb. As you watch the rabbit video of your artwork, hold your crystal in your hand during the divine light song to really enhance its abilities and your connection to source. So that was everything in the November Wolf and Time box. Really, really sweet. Let me read a little bit about the theme. Um, this says the wind whirls around and howls at your window, begging to come in and embrace you with a cold chill as you snuggle deeper into your bed. Oh, does that not sound amazing? Nothing is better than when it's really cold outside to just be in your bed. The smell of smoke wafts about as your neighbors light their fires and you dread placing your bare feet upon the cold floor, if that's not the truth. This is when our soul needs comfort, a warm flame and projects to create. Nurturing soul is the theme for November and we will focus on all these things through Huga. Oh my gosh <laughs> Last time last video. I was struggling to say that word. I had to look it up because I was gonna say hi -gi. It is Huga and she did put a pronunciation here, which is awesome because people like me would just be like What is that saying? We focus on all things through Huga, cozy energy and crafting magic. There's nothing better than just being home having nothing to do, just being able to cozy up on the couch or in bed in like fuzzy clothes. Oh my gosh, literally the best thing in the whole world. Love it so much. So definitely loving the theme for this month. And that was everything, like I said, in the Wolf and Time box. I'm gonna try to figure out too, what smells so good in that spell. I cannot figure out if it is the incense or if it's the flowers. I'll have to let you guys know. Now I'm just gonna hop right into the Luna Lux box. Got this one open. Flip it this way because that is the way that the little little yarn heart is facing. I love those stinking yarn hearts. They're so cute. I've always wanted to get into like yarning, not yarning, what am I saying? Knitting. I've always wanted to get into like some type of like knitting or sewing and like making fabric things because every time I walk into Joanne Fabrics, 
I just see the cutest pattern ever. I would think I want to make that into something. I want to make it into like a skirt or a shirt or even like a, just a bandana for my dog. I think it would be so cute. But ah, anybody has time to have like multiple hobbies. I barely have time just to have one hobby. So again, on the top, there is another, of course, description of everything that is in this particular box. So here it is again. I will only refer to this if I need it again. And we have an Oracle card. Every single time we get a Luna Lux box, we get a different Oracle card. Oracle card. Oh my gosh, my voice like didn't work for a second. The Oracle card. And I was talking about in my last video about how I think it would be really cool to make a deck of all the Oracle cards that I get from Wolfen Time. So I definitely want to do that. The one that I got today is upside down, so it's reversed. I have number 44, loyalty, responsibility, relationships, construct, and self-care. So pretty. And I love that all of the Oracle cards I see in these boxes, again, I've never seen them before. So you really get to see different things and you could also buy the full size deck for these on the website. Um, usually Kat will have these listed somewhere if you wanted to get the full size deck or the full deck. Huga originally came from old Norwegian for well-being and was later embraced by the Danish. However, any culture can benefit from the idea behind it and have a deeper magic in everyday life. This deck, Universal Folk Oracle, aligned perfectly for our theme with both the cultural art of folk and the many ways of self-care and intuitive wisdom. You have one pick just for you to meditate with and gain its insight. If you are drawn to this specific imagery or if you feel drawn to the deck and like the imagery of the deck and the artwork, she usually does have these listed on her website if you wanted to get the full deck. So here is my Oracle card for today. It is loyalty. Next, I have the ritual bath. Ugh, I knew it was gonna be a bath. I had a feeling it was gonna be a bath because we're talking about like nurturing yourself and like self care. And when I think of a full like pampered day where I am just focusing on myself, nurturing myself, doing much needed self care, it always involves like some type of a bath or just relaxing your know, water, just almost always is a bath because baths are just so relaxing. And I know some people don't like taking baths because it's like sitting in your own filth, um, which I totally agree with that. Anytime I take a bath right afterwards, because I don't have like a standalone bath, I have a bath that's in a shower. So immediately after I bathe and I drain the water, I just turn the shower on and I rinse off. So I don't know if that's weird. Literally my boyfriend and I both do that. I mean, or you can do it the other direction. You can shower first and then just relax and not have to deal with the water. But I find the shower afterwards to be really comforting as well. So I don't know, just thought I'd put that out there. We have the Nurturing Soul Ritual Bath. You need the Nurturing Bath Salts, a Huga Candle, an Epido Crystal. Does that mean that Epido is the crystal for this month? That would be really amazing because I don't have any Epido. I have an Epido and Quartz Pendant but I don't have any actual specimens, so that'd be really cool. Cherry Blossom Agate Palm Stone. Do we get two? Do we get two crystals? That'd be like really nice. And then Forest Incense Sticks in a Holder. So again, here it is if you'd like to see it. Your five by seven original artwork is a unique ritual created by Wolf and Time for a nurturing soul bath ritual. It requires your bath salts, the Huga candle, your included crystals, your included incense, and some common items. It is meant to help you relax, release any pain or negative emotions, soak up divine energy, and become content. It can be done in the bath, a foot soak, or in the shower, and can be done during any moon phase. The next, oh, this is so pretty. So this looks super similar to the style of the rabbit print that we got in the Wolf and Time box, except this one is a cat. But again, it has that really cool, like, almost like a scrapbook. And you know what's kind of funny too, is that the person who makes this box is Kat. She does smell, spell it differently, it's not with a C, but we have a cat from Kat. This original artwork was created using watercolor, mixed media, and a ritual to bring you the loving vibration of its sleepy purr. You can see the creation process and the magic of its intention with special music on the YouTube channel, The Luna Loft. There you can read more about it while creating a meditative time for yourself. This also features the special song, Hummingbird, performed by Brianna Lee and Josh Barrett of Sundin. 
Ooh, are these the incense? The, I think these are the, mm-hmm, the forest incense. Definitely like a little bit more on the masculine side, which is really, can be very comforting and warm. So those were the incenses. Next, coconut drinking chocolate with coconut milk. This is vegan hot chocolate, I believe. That is so cute. Drink your chocolate, just add hot water. All of our cacao is sourced directly from organic farms to craft our rich, dark drinking chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. This is the hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, I haven't had hot chocolate in so long. I think I'm gonna have to go make myself a cup when I'm editing this. As a little bonus, I added in a cozy drink for after your ritual bath or anytime you want a delicious cozy treat. It is sustainably sourced with quality organic ingredients. It contains vegan coconut milk, premium Peru cacao, coconut nectar, cane sugar, cocoa powder, sea salt, guar gum, carob bean gum, and vanilla bean. Coconut is perfect for protection and chocolate brings in self-love and contentment. Are these the bath salts? So it is in this little tin here. Again, so pretty. Everything is just always so like meticulously selected and prepared. Like the background of this washi tape reminds me of like this, this kind of design here. Do you see how it's like similar? Kind of that style is. It's just really pretty. Everything ties in so well with one another. I'm gonna open it. I do believe this is the bath salts, which the salts that she makes are so nice. I have used them a lot in the past. And anytime I use like a bath bomb, I will still always put a little bit of salt in there. I just feel like it gives a little bit of protection while I'm relaxing in my bath. And I just like adding a little bit of extra stuff. Makes it like a little cocktail. Ooh, this looks so pretty. I don't want to tip it, but can you guys see that? There are dried flowers in here. It smells super like like, I don't know how else to describe the scent besides it's really grounding, really just a very deep scent. Almost smells like tea, like how a tea bag smells, which is just totally relaxes all my senses, any type of like tea. Nestled in your golden tin is a handmade mix of Epsom salt, Madagascar vanilla essential oil for love and mental healing, Douglas fir essential oil for honesty and truth, whole dried hibiscus flowers for passion and self-love, chamomile flowers for healing and peace, and a chunk of raw epidote crystal for release of negative patterns, embracing the positive and manifestation. These soothing basalts were made during the waxing moon phase to gain manifesting and nurturing energy. So you can use that in with your bath ritual. And that was everything that was in our little homemade bath salt. Next, ooh, this I wanna see, because it's some type of fabric. This is so soft. Oh my gosh, I love whatever material this is. This feels so nice, you guys. Oh my gosh. This reminds me, I went over my sibling's house, so I have two half-sisters and half-brother. I was over my half-sister's house for my nephew's birthday, and I hadn't seen them for two years, and it was just nice being around everybody. And she was giving away some of her clothes that she didn't want anymore. It's kind of like a, hey, I have this, anybody want it? And there was one sweatshirt she had that was so so soft. It was by Dan Skin. I think it's like a dancewear brand, honestly. Um, but she said she found it at TJ Maxx or something and it felt so nice. Um, I didn't get it, somebody else wanted it. It was like blue, but I knew I wanted to go online and get that in like black, which definitely is a little bit more me. But I went on Amazon and I found a like dark tie-dye version of it, I guess. It's like a sweatshirt and it is so comfortable. It's like the exact same material too. So I'm obsessed with this material. I don't know what it is. I have to look at my thing again, but if you're wondering what this feels like, it feels like the Dan Skin like sweatshirts that you could get on Amazon. I'm gonna undo this tie here. Cause it just looks like a big infinity. Yes, it's an infinity scarf. Oh, and it's so soft. That is so, so cute. Should I wear this the rest of the video? I think I'm going to. All right, so you gotta still see my necklaces. There we go. Oh, it's so soft. I love, 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 love. 10 out of 10, love this. When I thought that this literally couldn't get any better, it does. 
This scarf can be transformed into a hood. The soft polyester scarf is in the color of suede taupe and has an infinity loop with a universal simple style. As a cowl, you can hood up the back loop over your head while keeping yourself toasty under your chin. It's a mysterious, more magical way to keep warm. I have another one of these little brown containers that is what was in the Wolf and Time box. Really cute way that she's been packaging her jewelry. I love these little brown containers. And this one, oh my gosh, it's the same way, guys. It's on a little, a little thing. Oh my God. That is so pretty. It's a locket. I was just thinking about getting a locket too. That's so weird. You could put anything you want in there, a picture, even like a pressed flower or something. That is so pretty. Well, let me show you while it's open. I have this little locket and the front of it is just this absolutely insane, like full moon. Oh, it is so pretty. The outsides also have like little flower designs. I love this. The gibbous moon is special as a part of our logo and in both the waxing and waning meaning of the phase. This antique brass necklace has a locket and vintage botanical details with the glass image of the gibbous moon. In her waning, she asks you to slow down, to stop, and to write about what you are grateful for and take time to reconnect with friends and family. In her waxing, she asks you to go with the flow, be patient, watch for signs, and trust your inner wisdom for guidance. Stash a special message, herbs, crystals, photos, or sigils in your locket, and wear it to remind you that both phases are necessary to give yourself grace. The fabric can be used for crafts, spells, to write down your manifested dreams, to stash under your pillow, or any other magical purpose. I think I have enough going on here, so I'm just gonna set this one aside. The next thing in the box is this little bag here. And inside there is some string. So I'm assuming this is stuff for the ritual. I have a cinnamon. I don't remember if that was in the ritual. Cinnamon and, ooh, hello. What are these? Little runes? They're like rune cylinders. I don't know what this is for. I'm sure I will find out though. So I have some little cylinders and a cinnamon stick and some string. It's so funny because out of context, it's like, what? Because <laughs> I didn't see what this particular one is. I am gonna cheat and I'm gonna go on and quickly get myself up to speed. Runes are special symbols from Norse magic that can be used in divination and spell crafting and for tools. In this project, you will be able to make your own mini macrame talisman with three rune beads selected just for you, cotton cord for luck, healing, and protection, and a cinnamon stick for spirituality, healing, protection, love, and enhanced abilities. It is the perfect size to hang in your car or on the door, a handle, above your bed, or anywhere else you need it. Creating it with your own hands puts intentional energy into the weave and energizes the rooms. There's an instructional video uploaded onto the Little Lost YouTube, which is super helpful if you wanted to make this and have it not look like a hot mess. You can see the video on her YouTube channel step-by-step. Step. So I will definitely check that out because I don't know how to do macrame at all. So I'll definitely need to follow that in order to make that. So go check out Kat's channel. Her YouTube is at the Luna Loft and you can watch a video, an instructional video on how to do that if you're interested. Next, I have a candle, I think. I think I see through this. Yes, she's a candle. It's very light. It's a really, really, really light scent, but a nice comforting one for sure. So there are some little tiger's eye chips down in the bottom, along with some sparkles and some dried leaves. So there is the candle. I love getting candles. I have a candle hoarding problem. It's an obsession. I love it. <laughs> In your hand poured organic soy wax candle, you will find the essential oil blend from doTERRA called Huga. The word is pronounced Huga and is the quality of coziness, contentment, or well-being from the Danish culture. It represents finding pleasure in the simple things, atmosphere of warmth and friendship, cherishing each moment as it comes, and creating special moments for yourself that are nurturing in your mind, body, and soul. The candle has dried whole hibiscus flowers for love, peacing, and healing, 
Tiger's eye crystal for balance, strength, and harmony. And genuine shaved rose and pure gold for love, wisdom, and magic. Ooh, what is this? This looks like some huge hoop earrings, but I'm sure that's not what this is. What? What is this? What is this? I feel like um, in the, what is it, Nightmare Before Christmas? What's this? What's this? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to go cheat again and look on the thing. For hair? I don't know. Let me go take a peek. A brooch. You fold your fabric through, then turn the circle to fa fasten the pin. I have no idea how to use this. I feel like I need a YouTube tutorial on how to tie a brooch. Then you're gonna open up your panicular so that the opening is opposite of the pin. Then you come through and gather up everything that you want inside the panicular until the pin is showing. Then you simply lay this over, bring the pin through the opening. Now this is the tricky part. You gotta turn the circle. Once that circle is turned and into place, nothing is going to be coming out. Yay! I don't think that's where I'm supposed to do it, but I did it and it's over there. Okay. I'm gonna have to play with this panicular brooch a little bit more to get a handle on it, but that is so cool. Again, how many of you have a panicular brooch? Because I didn't, and now I do. Yeah, another example of getting something that I've never had, never even heard of before. I've definitely seen these before. It reminds me of like, um, in Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen had like, I think she had a brooch. It was a brooch with the Mockingjay on it. I can't remember, but. It just reminds me of that, and I definitely have seen these before, but I've never had one, so I'm really excited to be able to, you know, incorporate this into my outfits, make it a little bit more interesting to look at. So that was the brooch. To accompany your new scarf or to add to a cloak or shawl is this antique brass brooch with a Celtic knot design. The circle in Celtic history represents both eternity and the sun, which when we are closed in on colder days is a good reminder of the warmth that is coming back soon. The knotwork represents unending love and spiritual growth because it goes on forever. So the final item in the box for this month. So this must be the other crystal it talked about. Oh yes, ma'am. It is a gorgeous flower agate. Oh, look how pretty. I do have a flower agate I actually got, but it doesn't have the level of clarity that this one has. Agates are so beautiful because they have these pieces I'm not sure if you will see because the light is coming this way, but I can see this way. I can see right through. It creates a really pretty effect because of how the light is able to shine through the stone. So this is a really pretty, pretty flower agate. As you hold your new crystal in your hand, you will see that it is a light pink and has white chalcedony plumes that give it that beautiful cherry blossom effect. It is found only in Madagascar and has the illusion of both new buds and full flowers creating the energy of spiritual growth and self-discovery. It calms and soothes your emotions, giving you complete balance, activates both your heart and root chakras for grounding love and security, and gently relieves the impact of stress. Lastly, it helps connect you to the divine and give you nurturing energy from the sacred goddess, Mother Earth, and the healing compassion that mends your soul. So that was everything included in both the Wolf and Time and the Luna Lux box for the month of November. As always, I always love everything that's in the boxes because it fits so perfectly with the theme and just in general what the box is. It's focused on self-care, on instilling a more regular practice, giving rituals and spells. I just think it's a really amazing box if this is something that interests you. Um, I love the crystals, of course, every single month. Like, it's just a really, really great box if you are interested in these types of things. Um, again, I have a coupon code. I say it pretty much every video or I at least put a link or what my code is right at the bottom, but my code is xwolf15. You can get 15% off your first subscription box with Wolf and Time. Definitely let me know if you've gotten their boxes before or what your favorite item was for this box, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.